Hey guys, Mr. Barnes here, and uh, I'm going to take you through another video of uh, using the algebra tiles. This time we're going to be using the algebra tiles to uh, subtract polynomials. And subtracting polynomials with algebra tiles is a little trickier than uh, adding them. So there's kind of a bit of a, a bit of a trick to this one, I'll call it. Alrighty, so first thing I do is always represent the first polynomial completely. Okay, I don't bother with the second one right away. I just do the first one. So I got 2x squared. Then I'm going to have negative 3x. As always, yellow is positive, red is negative. And then positive 2x. Okay. So this is my first algebra tile. So now I look at the like terms. So this is uh, 2x squared. I'm going to subtract away 3x squared. Now I only have 2x squared here, so how am I going to subtract? Um, how am I going to subtract 3x squared from 2x squared? I can't unless I have 3x squared. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to bring another one of these down. Okay, so I need three of these. I need to bring another one of these down. But if, as soon as I add that one, now I have a different polynomial. So what I in fact need to do is bring down a zero pair. Okay, so I need to make a zero pair. Okay, so then what I can do is I can take away, I can now take away these 3x squared. I can take away those 3x squared, and if I was doing it on my notebook, I'd do it just like that. I'd shade this one in, I'd bring this one down, I'd shade them in, and then I'd just make an arrow, and boom, gone. Okay, now I'm going to take away 2x from this one, so I'm taking away 2x from my negative 3x, so I'm taking away... A negative 2x, sorry. I'm taking away a negative 2x, so I took away a negative 2x. And that's gone. And then I'm going to take away a positive 1. So I'm taking away a positive 1. And that's gone. So now let's see what I'm left with. After all that's taken away, I'm left with this, this, and this. Okay, so I'm left with a negative x squared minus 1 plus 1. So minus, negative x squared minus x plus 1. So let me write that out. Negative x squared minus x plus 1. And that's my answer. Okay? So it's a little different with subtracting using algebra tiles than it is with uh, adding polynomials. Let's do another example. All right. Let me delete this stuff here. And uh, in case you're wondering, I am using full screen now. Um, just looks a little bit neater with the algebra tiles, trying to get it all fitted in, especially when you're doing a bigger diagram. Uh, I don't usually enjoy this toolbar, but it works out for this. All right, so let's see. Um, negative 2x squared minus x plus 1. Subtract x squared plus 2x uh, minus Alrighty, so first step, make this algebra tile. So negative 2x minus x plus 1. So that's that. Now, I'm going to try and subtract an x from that, and I can do that. So I'm going to subtract x. This is my x. It's gone. Nope, sorry, I can't do that. I'm not subtracting x. I'm not subtracting a negative x. I'm subtracting a positive x. Sorry about that, guys. So what I need to do is I need one of these guys here, and when that happens, I got to bring another one of these guys here. Okay. So now I can subtract my positive x here. Squared. Okay. So they're subtracting my positive x squared. So that's gone. Now I have to subtract. A positive 2x. Well, I don't have positive 2x here, so I need a positive 2x, so I bring it down. And then I have to make my zero pair. Okay, so here's my zero pair. So now I can subtract my positive 2x. That's gone. And I can subtract my 1. Okay, so actually I got to subtract a negative 1, so I got to add in... Uh, 
uh, I'll bring it over here. So I got to add in a zero pair. So I'm going to subtract my negative one. Subtract this. That's gone. Okay. So what I'm left with is this stuff that's not circled. So let me get rid of some of this circled stuff here. So delete that. Delete that. So this is what I'm left with. I'm left with negative 3x squared, subtract 3x, plus 2. So negative 3x squared, subtract 3x, plus 2. That's how it's done. Okay? So guys, hopefully uh, that's clear. Um, again, if you're if you're getting tired of using the algebra tiles, uh, feel free to look at my videos where I don't use the algebra tiles and see how I do it. Uh, if you have any more questions about subtracting algebra, uh, subtracting polynomials via algebra tiles, it is a tricky topic. I know there's another way floating around the internet out there, so be careful what you do. But I think this is really the only correct way. Remember, when using algebra tiles, um, we don't put symbols. There's no plus signs in with our algebra tiles or minus signs or whatever. Okay, so be very careful. All right, guys. Uh, hope this helps. See you in class.